Hey, what's going on guys? Had to wait a couple days for the weather to get nice, finally. So um, I'm about to do an oil change on the Z51. This is perfect. Uh, so I, you know, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it step by step and the tools and the uh, oil and filter that I use. So here we go. So since my car is dry sump, it's got uh, two, um, it's got two uh, oil plugs oil drain plugs one for the engine and one for the dry sump system um some people want to um you know have a more controlled uh drain so they leave the uh cap of the oil system or, or they dry sump on sump on me i'm uh i'm gonna take mine off just to do it a little longer so i'm not really sweating so you know here we go right here that's where my stuff is obviously like i said it's dry sump so it's now in the engine um and just gonna open mine. It's right here. Keep the hood open. We're gonna jack this puppy up, get the job done. I'm gonna show y'all that. And then, you know, I'm gonna show you what I do under the car. So the Z51 takes 5W30 oil, mobile one synthetic. Uh, and I got a, what, a nine, uh, nine year warranty uh, super filter, I guess by STP so you know it's supposed to be top notch I personally really don't care what you know what filter I use but you know this is a premium vehicle so we're gonna use premium parts so hey that's what it is so let's jack this boy up get it going So this is where I got it, uh, those are the points where I got it, uh, you know, the jack stands under. Um, I think that's like a little cross member or something. So that's where I put it up, uh, usually on all my vehicles. It was kind of hard. I had to uh, come through the front to um, to actually uh, put it up under this part of the control arm right here where the, uh, the bolt meets, like, you know, that part. So that's where I came through the front and jacked it up at because the side skirt's too small i mean too low so came through the front you do one side on the even ground this is kind of even but you one side on the even ground you should be cool about to do the back now so All right, so y'all see she's up in that them and everything. I, uh, for that, for the back, I uh, straight up just, you know, it's a lot easier. I feel like it's easier than my C5, but for this, this is where I uh, jacked it up and put the, you know, boom, one on one side, one on the other. Um, and, you know, I'm about to do the oil change. I'm about to show you, about to get under the hood. See, I had to put my little, Bandeezy on, so I don't get nothing in my hair because my driveway dirty. So we're about to get it in. All right, so I uh, I got the bolts loose or whatever, but I'm gonna show you. Is one for the engine, like I said, and the other ones for the uh, dry sump. And uh, the one for the engine was pretty rel relatively easy to uh, didn't take too much effort to get off. Other one was a bitch, but I accidentally tightened it like a muff. I accidentally did some stupid shit and tightened it. So this, these are the bolts right here. This is your oil filter. This is the one to your engine. This is the one to your dry sump. So, you know, what I use for the, uh, what you can use is obviously you can use your socket for this bolt because it's in the front. But uh, I ain't pay attention what the heck this is, or whatever. 
but uh, this bad boy is in the way right here. Um, yeah, this bad boy is in the way right here, so you can't use this socket for that. You are gonna have to use a cross foot 15 millimeter, and oh yeah, the socket uh, that it takes. These are both 15 millimeters, but you can use a cross foot, which is attached when it goes to the socket, uh, like a 15 millimeter socket, or you can use what I have here, which is a 15 millimeter wrench, which I just chose this because I didn't feel like spending the money on the kit right away and I didn't feel like I, I didn't think I was gonna need the whole kit I really needed more so just the one piece so so I did so I'm about to loosen these drain these plugs right fast let you guys see that like I said it's supposed to be faster it's supposed to be a fast drain because because I got the top uh on this bat uh off this bad boy but you know, let's drain the side one first. We're gonna drain this one first. So I really should have gloves on for this, but you know, hey. And you can use gloves if you want to. I'm just gonna be G about it. Ugh, damn. It's definitely trying to get nothing to fall out on my hands, but it's whatever. That bolt fell in there too. Um cool I ain't shit I ain't sweating so you yeah, will let this bad boy drain it didn't seem like a lot I hate to say my dipstick said this thing was full of shit and the oil wasn't looking bad it's probably heli in the first one usually they do the, this one second and all the tutorials, they usually do this one second, and then they do the main one, but they do the main one first, so who knows? Huh? Oh, I'm just changing the oil. I'm trying to save some bread. Oh, save some bread. Save some bread, yep. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yep, yep. I just gave the car a whole new color, boo. I'm like, you got to paint it red. <laughs> 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 oh, man. So yeah, this one's pretty much done. I'm gonna put this bolt back up in here. Oh, if y'all can see that. I got this like on the small on the lowest setting, man. I got these jacks on the lowest setting, so I'm sorry if it seemed like I'm moving like I'm having a hard time it's cause I kinda am having a hard time. <laughs> so Hand tighten them bad boys. It's supposed to be 18 foot pounds of torque. Is what you're supposed to tighten them at, but me personally, uh I ain't get I ain't getting the little thing right now and I'm not worried about. It. So let me go ahead and dump this. Hopefully this is gonna be crazy and everything all over the damn place. Let's do it. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. All right, so that bad boy is about done draining, or it is. So. So we got the new boat right here. Throw this bad boy on her. Right there, my fault. Y'all know I'm under a low ass car. Like I said, I'ma hand tighten these first. Then I'ma uh, come back and tighten them down for real. You know. Um. This, this is a filter we gotta remove. Now, I don't have a little filter thing, but usually what I do, I just be a man about that shit. And I, uh, I'm gonna get, I think I got a paper towel, still. Uh, my hands is, you know, obviously greasy as fuck, so. 
We'll try to get this bad boy off best we can with this, just this. Alright, so yeah, I had to go ahead and freak it. Use a rag to get, you know, the grease off of it. I dry my hands up pretty much. So, boom. Got the filter loose. Now it's time to let the filter dry. Oh, this is a sticky process. Sticky and greasy. Y'all can already see. You see, yeah, see that shit, so. I'm gonna try to catch the filter for a fall in there, but if I don't, it's what it is. Oh my gosh. There's some BS for real. Uh, no, I ain't gonna let it fall in there. I'm gonna try to drain as much as possible. Ugh, fuck. I'm trying to go somewhere, so, you know, I'm trying to knock this out on some quick shit. I ain't trying to be down here all damn day. Save me some bread, too, you know. Um, my boss is spending, what, you know, a hundred sun for a change, a oil change. You got some nuts, you know, you could do it yourself. So that looks like that's slow dripping. Let's pick the towel one more time. Get this dang filter. STP jump. This super fancy 9,000 miles gangster. Ooh, I got oil on this damn camera. Yeah. See, y'all getting gutted with me. Now that's what I'm talking about. This is the light. This is the real light. So, I'm gonna throw some uh, new oil on there and then uh, around the ring and then uh, we should be good to go. I'm gonna install this, throw, uh, throw the new oil in there. Remember, I said it's nine and a half quarts. If you're going to track it, they say the recommended weight instead of the regular 5W30 is uh, 15W30. And then, um, that's gang. So, let me go ahead and throw this shit up in her. Y'all can see what the fuck I see. Gentle, don't want to uh, dirt it unevenly. You want it to be perfect. I kind of do my shit hand tight. Like, I don't do no crazy, crazy ass driving, so I don't really be trying to. Uh, you know, I really don't be trying to fucking tighten my shit, over tighten my shit. I want if, if I had to do my shit on the side of the road, I can get my shit done. <laughs> so, um, you know, just clean it up a little bit. See if, if I had to turn it back the other way, yep, I could. So. That's how you, how I try to do my shit. Nothing too crazy. Now I'm a, like I said, these are hand tighten. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Ugh. Do the sump joint. That's cool to me. Something's cool to me. Oh, for the socket. This bad boy. Like I said, I don't, I don't got the thing that shows the actual foot pounds, the 18 foot pounds, and know when you're doing it, but. I can kind of tell because I done done it. This ain't my first vet, nor is this my first oil change on a Corvette, period. It's just more so a dry sump vehicle, and... 
seemed pretty cool. Yep, so I'm satisfied with that. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the oil in this motherfucker. I really should have a filter, but you know. I mean, not a filter, I really should have a funnel. I got a funnel, actually. I'm gonna go grab that funnel. I'm gonna go grab this damn funnel, and we're gonna get this shit popping. So, look who uh, came through, y'all. Tuck in the episode. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, this is the dry sump. Don't don't mind the, uh, you know, shit dirty as fuck. But this is the dry sump hole or whatever. You know, get you a filter. Make sure it's a clean, easy process. So I'm about to, uh, like I said, Mobile One Synthetic 5W30. That's what I'm putting in here. And uh, I'm about to go ahead and drop this bad boy in here. Make sure all your uh, bolts is tight and uh, stuff before you, um, you know, because even after... Uh, I showed you guys. I went under there and retightened them, leave it even a little bit more. So, you know, um, make sure everything's tightened up and all your filters is, uh, you know, on there and lubricated, and you should be good to go. And you'll see me rolling. <laughs> Angles. Views on views on or whatever. What my boy uh, what my boy Jane say, Strad man. So what you say? This is five, five U.S. quarts, huh? Two of us and it's like three bitches it's like or two bitches is like that's cool but it's like when it's just one of me it's like man they be one they be acting like i can see it in their face they be like we ain't trying to share we fuck with you but we ain't trying to share there you go be selfish i like that <laughs> yeah you know so all right so yeah i got the uh oil in that motherfucker and uh i'm about to uh put the cap on this bad boy you gonna grab this Put the capitan on. Like some of this excess oil. Let's put this cap on. I really should wash my car, but I ain't really. I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna do a little whole bath while I uh, do what I gotta do. But yeah, so that's that. Um, any questions? Shit. But no, I'm about to let her down and uh, shit. She gonna see me rolling out, so you gonna know it's work. It worked. Um, that's it. It's excess oil. You can drain it back into the old buckets, whatever you wanna do. And that's game. Deuces.